Of all the half-finished projects I have going on around this place, I think working on this cabin sounds like the most fun, even if it may not be the highest priority. So today we're having another glorious early spring day. Actually, spring doesn't start till tomorrow. It's something like 60 degrees again, and of course, tomorrow night it's supposed to snow another three to five inches. But I thought I would take this opportunity to do a little bit of rot protection on some of these logs before we get around to chinking them, hopefully sometime this summer. And to do that, I'm going to use a little bit of penetrating epoxy. This is a Rot Doctor product. I think other people make similar products. And this is almost like water, but it seeps into any place there's a little bit of rot, seals it up, stops the rot, and helps protect the logs long term. There's actually a three-step process. The next one is a little bit thicker and can be used to fill some cracks and things like that. Then finally, there's one that's more like Bondo. I've never had to resort to it for any projects, but so far the penetrating epoxy seems to do a pretty good job. So I'm going to mix up a little bit of that. I'm going to go around here and find any place that looks like it needs it, mostly the window sills. Areas like this are just a little bit punky. There's some stuff that can flake off. The log's still pretty solid, but I want to treat all this kind of stuff so that once we seal this up with a heavy wooden frame, we're not trapping anything that might become a problem later. So it's a two-part epoxy and it mixes one part to one part, so it's really pretty simple to measure. Got my fancy stirring stick. I put a lot of this on here to make sure it really soaks in and it pretty much all just disappears. That's just a little look at what still needs to be done up here at the cabin. I'll probably come up several more times and hunt around and see if I can find everything that needs it. I probably used a quarter gallon of each mix, a half gallon total going around today. The window sills were the big thing. They're all sealed up, but I just need to check and make sure there aren't any other spots that look like they're going to cause a problem. In a lot of ways, these logs are in better shape now than they were when we put them up because they had been sitting out for quite some time and they had some wet spots and some of these slightly rotten spots were really kind of punky then. And now that they've dried out some, they aren't so bad. So I think the rot has stopped. It's just now a matter of keeping it from happening again. And no, I'm not sponsored by Rot Doctor. Just the product we chose to use several years ago on another project and we just keep using them because it seems to work pretty good for us. I think the next big project up here will be door and window bucks, which are the heavy framing that keep the logs from moving and shifting and really help support the building at the doors and the windows. So we're going to have to figure out exactly what our rough opening needs to be for whatever windows we want to put in here. Probably find some nice double hungs in there, wooden windows. Something decent and probably metal clad so they're going to be low or no maintenance on the outside so we don't have to worry about coming up here to paint all the time. But then hopefully by this winter, we will be ready to start chinking and we might actually be able to get this thing sealed up so that it isn't a problem come next year. Heck, once it's sealed up, even if it's not finished, people could camp up here. Might be a fun place to spend Christmas Eve. The wind is up a little bit, but it is still generally a pretty nice afternoon. So I think I'm gonna go get the trike out and go for a short ride. The road's still a little muddy, but I think I can avoid most of the real muddy spots. 